Hello again, welcome back to getting started, the second iteration. Uh, in my first example, I discussed my traditional example, Wildside Flowers, the Wildside application, which is a traditional, straightforward Java application. Because we're getting so much interest in AI based uh, applications, Amos projects, I want to address how that could look like. It's very similar to the uh, flowers slash wildside example, but making it explicit in front on the screen may be helpful to you as well. So I think it would be nice to have a chat AI that helps me plan my vacation. Maybe because I'm going to that expensive place and I really, really want every single minute of my vacation planned, what site to visit, which museum to visit, where to go, so that I want to set up that schedule and it needs to work for me. Um, what can I do? Are the museums open? What have you? And um, what's an optimal or a good way to go from A to B in sequence? So my example is an AI supported vacation planner. Let's call it that. And um, well, so what's the vision? I just explained it. Um, the vision here is um, a chat AI that helps the user plan their vacation schedule so that it's very clear from the first minute of what to do. How could requirements that ultimately end up in a product backlog look like? Well, the requirements, well, we are at the beginning of the Amos project, so we need to look at technology. What's the core technology here? Well, um, perhaps the, uh, um, the uh, machine learning approach you're taking. So assuming there is already, let's assume you want to use, as is common today, in existing models, so review AI model needs. And um, there are very different types of machine learning models, and uh, maybe you need an LLM, and well, maybe a correlation analysis is actually sufficient. Let's assume here you need an LLM, so then after you after you defined your requirements, so your criteria for selecting a model, you select an open source model that fits these requirements. Um, so now you have a model. Yeah? So another aspect of working with AIs uh, or machine learning models is to identify or learn how their specifics, um, how you train them for your particular need because they're not ready to go for your needs. So review model training needs. What do you need to train that AI on? It should be part of the, this year arguably could have been part of this first step, this first step here, and maybe there's some interaction, but let me logically tease this apart. So their model training needs. And so identify the needed training data. It's kind of an obvious uh, one. If you are going the route of an LLM, how can you train your model with data so that it knows about your domain and it can give you good answers based on that specialized model for your domain. So you need to identify what data you need and then of course you need to cu curate the uh, training data. It's not enough to know what you need, you also need to get it. Um, and so forth. So this also, uh, like with Wildside, needs to be put into a software architecture. So I could go on now about um, the persistence layer or a user interface. Let me do the following here. Should be a result perhaps of your architecture discussion. Um, provide the model, model as a service. The idea here is that you package the uh, model in a container in a in a container image that you can run. So you have your code with the data from the model. You want to train it. How do you make it available for qu questions and answers? Well, you run it as a service. So 
common way is to put it into a container image. And you don't have to wrap it into an image, but it's uh, a common way of doing it. So now you have the model in an image and you want it to be a service. So um, what do you need to do with that model in an image, container image? Well, provide a function to train the model. Remember the model starts out generically and uh, now you train it with the data from the previous steps and with that um, you get a specialized model. So provide a function to train the model and after you call that and provide it the curated data you have a specialized model. Well quite obviously provide a function to ask questions that depends on the model. Can you ask a natural language question? Do you have to structure it differently? Um, probably a bit gen generic here, but in some form, depending on the model type and the model you chose, you have to make it possible to ask questions. And maybe you need to provide a function to retrain the model. Yep. So you want to make these three things part of the interface to the container image so that as you run the container image, so you have a running container, you can initially train the model, you can ask it questions, you can retrain the model if you get more data. And then you have um, the model as a service. Now provide a user interface would be obvious requirements as well. So you may have review user interface needs. If that is separable, select user interface, interface technology, etc. Not going to dive more deeply or deeper here because I want to get to the functionality, back to the vacation planner. Well, you now have a model running in a container trained for your domain, but what do you make of that? How do you get to your vacation schedule? So one way of how I think about it, and it's a very common, it's a pattern across multiple projects that we've had, is to have one part of the screen where you ask questions and another part of the screen where you see the emerging result emerging because the result is not the answer to one question. The result is the answer, uh, the cumulative answer to the many questions you asked. So imagine that on the left you have your typical log of interacting with the chat AI or with an AI and to the right you have your day-by-day -day vacation schedule where it shows you on day three you're going to the Louvre yeah, or something and on day four you're going to ride around town. So you could now say um, split screen, split screen. Let's call it like have split screen with two halves, left half for user interaction, right half for the results of your interaction. So in this case, uh, um, right for day by day vacation schedule and um, in order to display that maybe we need to know when you're going on vacation and for how long so right here perhaps before you even start the AI um, uh, ask user about vacation dates you want to know when does the vacation start maybe there's a big difference of going to um, Montreal in summer or in winter. I can assure you there is a big difference in terms of how many layers of clothing you have to pack. So you want to ask some basic structured information before you even get to a chat AI. But then you have your split screen with two halves and that's it. So then let a user ask questions about their vacation. What do you know about Montreal? What do you know about Paris? And um, what could I do in, in summer? What could I do in, um, in, in August? And so you're getting these questions. And the key here, and quite a nice challenge to have a useful AI, of course, is to 
extract the answers from the questions uh, from the uh, extract from the answers that you are getting the information that's relevant for your vacation schedule so the chat ai may tell you all kinds of things but what you want to see is okay on day three i'm going to the louvre and on day four i'm going to the harbor or something so you have to extract uh, vacation planning information from answers if all you have is a log of your chat then sure you can ask the chat ai to repeatedly over and over again print out your schedule but it's much nicer to collect that in a second window so that you can incrementally build it and you can see how how uh, you incrementally build out that answer here the vacation plan that you want so extract vacation planning information from answers add extracted information to uh, vacation plan in the other window so you can see what you're extracting and then you can ask the chat AI okay if I don't want to do on my fourth day um, going if I don't want to go to the harbor but um, I want to uh, take a break then what other day should I go to the harbor um, so you could ask these questions and juggle your schedule and move things around so for technically this means that um, your prompts or your questions um, include um, ensure uh, include vacation plan you may not want to the, the, the chat AI doesn't know about your vacation plan in a different window but it needs to maintain it either in context because either it has it in memory or it has um, has it uh, provided with each question again and again now you don't want to see a, a large amount of um, large amount of uh, repeated information scroll by so maybe you are able to hide it from view and this way you can incrementally build out uh, your vacation plan I think I'll just stop here um, you should get going there's much more to be done um, I trust you won't have a panicked vacation where every minute is planned out but rather will relax uh, after a well done Amos project in the future all right again thank you see you in class